so, you know, a few years ago when there was that interest from Ireland. Um, did, did your cousins or family in, in Ireland bring up the subject, even if it was light hearted, like the travail that you found quite uh, not really. Uh, uh, my nan and granddad's lived over here for for a long, long time, so uh, I don't actually uh, get to, to see them that much. So we didn't have that relationship where we had that kind of that banter going on. Uh, again, for me, I think it was something. Uh, of course, I, I respected the, the decision, but in my head, it was always to to try and play for England. So uh, I never took it to kind of deep-heartedly and uh, my focus was on playing football and, and mainly trying to get in the England team. So you've not spoken to any cousins recently about Declan Rice today? No, 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 I haven't. Uh, like I said, Declan made his decision. Uh, that's his own personal decision. John? Harry, I was just going to ask you just following on the link. It's Wembley Friday night. It could be the finals, you know, in Euro 2020. Do you feel this as if it's not just sort of Wembley and our home but this could be our time? We've got such an exciting Yeah, of course. I think we've we've built that expectation where people now expect us to to do well, and and uh, I think before the World Cup there was kind of no expectation. So uh, it's great that we've turned that around, and um, it's down to us as players now to to use that experience we've had to manage the expectations. Now, of course, uh, we know we we want to win it, and we want to. Uh, make the fans happy and, and be proud of that. But we know there's a long road uh, ahead. It's not going to be easy. Every every top team is trying to improve. They're trying to uh, get better. Uh, we've seen some top nations in, in the World Cup, like France and, and, and Croatia and teams like this. So, um, yeah, we just have to focus on ourselves. But, of course, we know um, the chance to, to play a, a, a Euros where most of your games are at home it's going to be an amazing opportunity that you don't often get in your career, so uh, we'll try and make the most of it. Ian? How are 2018? It's quite a year for you internationally. Can 2019 Uh Well, hopefully. Hopefully we can win some silverware. Uh, How come this year, from an individual point of view, top 2018? Uh, I think if we, if we win the Nations League, it will, it will top it. I think, to, I've, I've said before, to, to have a chance to win a trophy in an English shirt is... It's not very often, so uh, I think if we if we go and have a good summer and uh, um, yeah win that trophy, then in, in my eyes it's it's a better year. Of course, uh, 2018 was fantastic, but uh, the main thing for me is the team and and trying to win things, and, and we have a chance this year. Uh, it's not always like that, no. Uh, the keepers, yeah, save a few every every now and then. Uh, it was a good day for for me today, but uh, I feel good. And then, yeah, I feel I feel in that zone where I feel like if I get a chance, I'm I'm going to put it away. Um, and you go through spells like that uh, during the season, and, and I, yeah, since I come back from injury, I uh, feel like like I say I'm sharp and 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 got a lot of energy. And, and when I feel like that, that's when I'm at my best. So. Um, yeah, of course, I'm going to miss chances in training and in games, but uh, I feel like I'm, I'm going to sc uh, score more than I miss. Sorry, at the end of that question, there's a great time to be doing it with two months worth of club and country. It could be huge for you. Yeah, it's the, it's the business end of the season. It's uh, where all the big games are, all the high-pressure situations are, and uh, obviously two big games for, for England now and then again in, in June. So, uh, like I said, it's... I never want to be injured, but I had that break and I was injured, so I've used that to, to be mentally fresh and, like I said, the next three, four months, I'm, I'm ready to go. Jack? Harry, you're going to be, you're going to be 26 in the Euros next summer. Do you think yep. that's going to be like your peak, your peak level at a tournament? Uh, it's hard to say. 26 is kind of right on the, the border. Obviously, people say between, yeah, maybe 26 to 29, 30. I feel like... Uh, Nowadays, with with everything, with sports science, and I feel like uh, the prime might be a bit later. I feel like late twenties. Uh, I hope to be obviously twenty eight, thirty. I feel like that. That's when you're kind of in your prime. If you keep yourself in, in good enough shape, I think Ronaldo's uh, proven that, the, um, and Messi and, and players like that. So uh, I say I'm still. Uh, got a little bit to go. 26 ain't, ain't too old, uh, even though it feels old in this squad. But um, yeah, I'd like to think maybe a couple of years after that, I'd kind of be in my prime. Do you feel like you're in your prime now? Uh, yeah. It's hard to say. I guess you don't really know until you look back in your career and, and see when you're playing your, playing your best. I feel 
like each year I've improved and I feel like this year I've improved as well uh, so I'd, I'd like to think maybe in a, a couple more years it would kind of be my, be my prime but uh, again we, we won't really know until my career's over Matt. Well, I think we handled it really well since the World Cup. I think um, I think we were the only team who got into the semi-final in the World Cup to get through the, the Nations League group, and we had probably one of the hardest groups out, out of the lot. So uh, I think that was big for us to to prove to everyone that it wasn't just kind of a one-off that this team was really building for for something special uh, in the future. And uh, and then now ev everyone handles expectation different. We still have players who are young and inexperienced in this squad. So we have to, to manage them and make sure everyone's uh, okay and comfortable with, with the situation because everyone sees things differently. But uh, as one of the experienced players in the squad, and I'm sure the other experienced players will, uh, will help them players through it. And uh, it's down to us. All we can do is uh, play the way we have been playing and play with that freedom. And I think the players we have allow us to do that. So um, again, we can only really prove, prove it on the pitch. We can say it, but we can only really prove it over this next kind of two camps. Uh, our aim is obviously to, to win the Nations League. And um, yeah, we're, we're more than capable of doing that if, if we fully focus on, on, on our job. Jesse. No, it kind of happens naturally. I think uh, everyone looks forward to, to coming away of England and, and meeting up again. Uh, it's, it's a totally different team, of course. And uh, like I said, you have a bit of banter about it and you, you mention it, but uh, everyone's just on to England. And I think that's important is when you come away here, England's 100%, 100% uh, everything else gets put to the side. And then when you go back, it, it starts up again. And uh, I think that's been part of our success, whether it's, like you hear things in the past of people sitting on different tables and teams being divided and uh, you can't have that in a team. You need to be 100% together. Yeah, but it's, yeah, since I've been here, it's been, been good. I've seen Hendo getting on with Raheem and and uh, and Waltz and Trent. So uh, again, these like with Hendo and, and Raheem, for example, they've known each other a long time. They're, they're good mates. So uh, of course they want to beat each other, but they're not going to let that get in the way of what's more important this week, which is the international game. So uh, and that's like I said, I've not had to talk to them about that or, or anything. They just do that naturally. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know how uh, how much it will affect it. Uh, of course, when you're at your club, you, you're going to give everything to, to try and Champions League is such a big competition nowadays. Of course, every every player wants wants to win that. But uh, yeah, it'll be a quicker turnaround with with less rest uh, in the summer. But sometimes that's not a bad thing because you keep yourself in a rhythm. And uh, if you're playing a week before or four or five days before the, the Nation League semi-final, you're fresh, you're ready. Whereas if maybe you have a break for three, four weeks, you, it might take you a little longer to kind of get back to... Yeah, it kind of just feel like uh, most of the season, two days recovery and then back into, into the next game. Yeah, I, I think we will be. I think, yeah, it may be a little difficult and we just kind of, I'm sure Gareth will assess that situation if, if it comes. But uh, I think as professional footballers now, you have to be ready for that because the games, you don't get much rest throughout the year, whether it's a tournament year or not. You have games all through the, all through the summer. So uh, I think, yeah, we're, we're getting used to it and I think it's something that we should be okay uh, if it does happen. 
I wouldn't. I wouldn't say stolen. I'm so, how do you feel about the challenge this year with Aguero, Salah, Aubameyang, Mane, and Sterling all around? It's very, very tight. Just a few goals separating. Yeah, it's been a yeah, it's a tight year. Obviously, um, yeah, I think one goal behind at the moment. I think eight games to to play. It's, it's kind of anyone's. Uh, but we, we'll see. I feel, like I say, I feel in good shape. Uh, but I'm sure Aguero does. I'm sure uh, Raheem does. Uh, all the players up there, I'm sure they'll be looking to, to get that award. Uh, again, for me, it's something that's just a bonus uh, for at the end, of the end of the season. I'll be trying to help my team as much as possible. And obviously being a striker, that means trying to score goals. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. A lot's changed. Even when I won the Golden Boot a couple of, ye uh, couple of years ago, I was a few behind with a few to play. And uh, again, goals can come thick and fast at, at some stages and sometimes they, they take their time. So uh, I'll see what happens over the, the next eight games. OK, we've got time for two more. James Ollie then finishing that law. Yeah, no, she's been good. It, it, it wasn't just penalties that we spoke about. We spoke about a lot of kind of high pressure situations and, and how to deal with that. We had, we had yeah, meetings over the, the World Cup and every camp we uh, had a meeting about that. And uh, yeah, she's been great. Uh, obviously, I don't really know what's happening with her future or, or, or what's going on there. But uh, yeah, for the team, she's, she's been fantastic. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I think uh, uh, Ian, Ian Mitch is coming uh, for this camp for for us and uh, got to speak to him a bit yesterday and uh, he seems like a, a, a good bloke as well so uh, again it's just little edges that we can try and find to, to help each other in them situations at the end of the day it's down to us and on how we we cope with that but um, yeah yeah Pippa was a, a great help over, over the, the last year or so so uh, yeah we'll see what happens in the future I'm for sure <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> I'll leave it as that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, <clears throat>